Some people dream of flying, while others head straight to the garage and build their own wings. Around the world, passionate tinkerers, engineers at heart, and fearless adventurers have put together aircraft that most of us would only sketch on paper. From wild contraptions cobbled together with car engines to sleek, one-of-a-kind designs that look like they belong in a sci-fi movie, these homemade planes actually defied gravity and took to the skies. While not all of them are practical or even safe, they showcase pure creativity, determination, and the thrill of flight. Let's dive into 15 of the most outrageous homemade planes that really managed to lift off. PIC-26 Mini Sitki The PIK-26 Mini Sitki is one of those aircraft that makes you pause and marvel. It's simple, elegant, and utterly earnest. Designed by Kai Mellon for the Finnish Flying Club, PIK, it's a single-seat, wood-built, low-wing ultralight that manages to balance performance and simplicity in a rare way. What stands out first is how efficient it is. With a humble approximately 35 horsepower engine, Citroen Visa or Mosler MMCB, it cruises around 170 to 173 kilometers per hour while sipping about seven liters per hour. Impressive for something mostly timber and plywood. Its stall speed of circa 63 kilometers per hour, decent climb rate, approximately 3.2 meters per second, and around 450 kilometers range with reserve, make it more than just a project plane. It's something you could actually use for fun cross-country hops. On the flip side, building one isn't trivial. The estimated build time is about 2,300 hours. And while the construction is builder-friendly, no plastic parts, simpler structures, it still demands serious woodworking skill and patience. And if you want something more durable, powerful, or with more modern materials, some of the compromises here wood structure, limited power, might feel limiting. Janowski J2 Polonaise The Janowski J2 Polonaise is one of those home-built planes that smells of sweat, sawdust, and sheer ambition. And that's part of its charm. Designed by Jarosław Janowski in the 1970s as an evolution of his earlier J1 Przosnitschka, it pushes boundaries in simplicity without completely sacrificing performance. What I love most is how the Polonaise was engineered so regular people could build it. Basic carpentry tools, wood, plywood, fabric, in a no fancy machine shop needed spirit. The result is a lightweight single seat plane, empty weight approximately 105 kilograms. Modest power, originally a modified Trabant car engine approximately 30 horsepower but enough to cruise at approximately 120 to 160 kilometers per hour, stall at approximately 60 kilometers per hour, and fly for about three hours. But it's not perfect. With such light weight and minimal engine power, climb rate and payload are obviously limited. It demands respect from its pilot. Weather, runway, and pilot technique all matter much more than with more robust factory-built aircraft. The Burkut 360 is one of those home-built planes that makes you feel what aviation can really be. Bold, ambitious, and a little rebellious. With its tandem two seats and canard pusher layout, it takes the Rutan Long easy idea and pushes it further. What impresses most is its performance. Powered by a Lycoming IO360, or in higher spec versions, the IO540, it can cruise around 200 to 220 miles per hour reach service ceilings near 30,000 feet and carry a useful payload while still being relatively efficient. The retractable gear, molded carbon slash fiberglass composite construction and stretched fuselage give it both sleekness and substance. But it's not perfect. Building a Burkett is no small commitment. Complex composites, precision parts, safety considerations. Pilots report it demands respect, fuel management, landing gear discipline, attention during build and flight. Quest Air Venture. From the moment you fire up its 280 horsepower Continental engine, it's clear the Quest Air Venture isn't built for cruising. It's built for burning up the sky. With all metal construction, a streamlined fuselage, and retractable gear, 
The Venture embodies what a home-built speedster can be. It climbs aggressively, cruises at blistering speeds, and has the range to cross long distances without compromise. On the flip side, packing that kind of performance means there's no skimping on pilot skill. Its short nose gear, high wing loading, and tightly tuned controls demand respect, especially on takeoffs, landings, and in turbulence. Once you adapt, though, the payoff is enormous. Thrilling speed, honest handling, and a unique presence in the air. For pilots who dream of performance first, the Venture delivers. Lancair Legacy. There are airplanes, and then there's the Lancair Legacy. She's not just another machine. She's a statement. From the cockpit, you feel how every curve, every contour, is sculpted for speed. The Legacy's low-drag composite fuselage, retractable, or fixed in some versions, landing gear, and powerful Continental IO550, or Lycoming options, aren't just specs, they're promises. At nearly 276 miles per hour cruise, you cover ground fast, and at 18,000 feet sealing the air thins while she still breathes strong. But this speed and elegance come with sharp edges. The Legacy rewards precision, discipline, and second chances are fewer than in a slower trainer. Handling on takeoff or approach demands respect. Still, once you master her, once you tame the power and finesse the landings, flying the Legacy is pure poetry. It's for pilots who don't just fly, but feel every knot. Bearhawk 5. Strap in, because the Bearhawk 5 isn't just another kit plane. It feels like a wild promise delivered. From the moment you push back on the throttle, its 250 to 315 horsepower Lycoming heart makes you grin. Carrying six people, or four plus gear, in a cabin even wider and longer than the Bearhawk 4, it offers space without feeling like you lost its rugged roots. Takeoffs are short, landings on rough strips are manageable. It hauls a lot, climbs strong, cruises at 150 to 160 miles per hour when properly trimmed, yet still charms you with docile handling. On longer trips, though, that power comes at fuel cost, and if you're only hauling two people, you'll sense that weight. Still, when you want adventure and utility in one package, the Bearhawk 5 delivers more than its fair share. Texas Parasol. Flying the Texas Parasol feels like stepping back to simpler times, but with a grin. It's a single seat, light sport slash parasol wing aircraft that trades luxury for an honest connection to the air. With an engine typically around 50 horsepower, often a Rotax 503, and a wingspan of about 26 feet, it won't break speed records cruising somewhere between 55 to 90 miles per hour depending on setup. What it lacks in speed, it more than makes up for in character. Tiny takeoff roll, slow stall speeds, and open air sensation give you that nostalgic wind in your hair buzz. Build simplicity and low cost make it appealing too. Great for someone who loves tinkering and wants flying joy without huge overhead. But yes, don't expect instrument rich cruises or high payloads. It's light, fragile, and weather conscious. For those who fly for the feeling rather than the numbers though, the Texas Parasol delivers soul. Mini IMP. The Mini IMP is that kind of home-built aircraft that pulls at your imagination. Slick, quirky, efficient. Molt Taylor's design feels like he found all the corners and smoothed them out so you could fly fast without fuss. With a single seat cockpit, a rear engine driving a tail propeller via shaft, and its unusual inverted V-tail, it looks different and flies with character. Cruise speeds in the 150 to 200 miles per hour range are believable. Stall speeds are gentle, approximately 45 to 50 miles per hour, and climb rates respectable. It's not made for passengers, it's made for pilot joy. Building it takes time. Expect 1,500 to 2,000 hours. If you're careful, methodical. You trade comfort and room for minimalism. Noise, vibration, exposure. But what you gain is purity. Every flight feels earned. For a builder pilot who wants performance and flair in a lean, eye-catching package, the Mini IMP delivers. Dyke Delta. The Dyke Delta isn't your everyday kit plane. 
It's bold, weird, and unforgettable. With its diamond platform, low aspect ratio wing, and a 180 horsepower Lycoming up front, it delivers cruise speeds around 170 miles per hour and tops out near 200 miles per hour. The construction is steel tube skeleton with fiberglass slash fabric covering, rugged enough to turn heads. But she's not for the timid. Stall speeds hover around 70 to 75 miles per hour, and approach speeds are steep, 100 to 110 miles per hour or more, and the flare feels different. The landing attitude is pretty nose high, which demands respect. What she gives back though is breathtaking visibility, folding wings for storage, solid climb rate, and that unmistakable character. For pilots who want performance with personality and are willing to learn, Dyke Delta rewards richly.